Giresun, pronounced Isun, formerly Sarasus, Karasu is the provincial capital of Giresun province in the Black Sea region of northeastern Turkey, about 175 kilometers (109 miles) west of the city of Trabzon. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> Giresun was known to the ancient Greeks as Chorades or more prominently as Karasu or Sarasus ancient Greek, Karasu the origin of the modern name. The name Karasu corresponds to Karasos, karasos cherry", plus aunt a place marker. Thus, the Greek root of the word, cherry, Karasos Karasos, predates the name of the city, and the ultimate origin of the word cherry and thus the name of the city is probably from a pre-Greek substrate, likely of Anatolian origin, given the intervocalic sigma in Karasu and the apparent cognates of it found in other languages the region. Another theory derives Karasu from Kuras Karas, horn, plus aunt a place marker, for the prominent horn-shaped peninsula that the city is situated on compare with the Greek name for the horn-shaped golden horn waterway in Istanbul, Kuras Karas, horn. The toponym would have later mutated into Karasunt sometimes written Kurasound or Karasund, and the word cherry, as well as its cognates found in other local languages was derived from the name of the city itself, rather than the other way around. Farnas's eye of Pontus renamed the city Farnasha after himself after he captured the city in 183 BCE, and it was called by that name as late as the 2nd century CE. According to A. H. M. Jones, the city officially reverted to its original name, Karasu. In 64 CE, the Greek name Karasu was Turkified into Giresun after Turks gained permanent control of the region in the late 15th century. The English word cherry, French cerise, Spanish cerisa, Persian gilas, and Turkish kiras, among countless others, all come from ancient Greek karasos. Cherry tree". According to Pliny, the cherry was first exported from Sarasus to Europe in Roman times by Lucullus. Geography The surrounding region has a rich agriculture, growing most of Turkey's hazelnuts as well as walnuts, cherries, leather and timber, and the port of Giresun has long handled these products. The harbour was enlarged in the 1960s and the town is still a port and commercial centre for the surrounding districts, but Giresun is not large, basically one avenue of shops leading away from the port. Like everywhere else on the Black Sea coast it rains and often snows in winter and is very humid throughout the year, with a lack of extreme temperatures both in summer and winter. As a result, Giresun and the surrounding countryside is covered by luxuriant flora. As soon as you get beyond the city buildings you get into the hazelnut growing area and the high pastures Yela further in the mountains are gorgeous. Topic. Climate Giresun has an humid subtropical climate Köppen climate classification, CFA, like most of the eastern Black Sea coast of Turkey, with warm and humid summers and cool and damp winters. Giresun has a high and evenly distributed precipitation throughout the year. Precipitation is heaviest in autumn and spring. Snowfall is quite common between the months of December and March, snowing for a week or two, and it can be heavy once it snows. The water temperature is cool in winter and warm in summer and fluctuates between 8 degrees and 29 degrees Celsius throughout the year. History. Giresun's history goes back to the late 6th century BC, when it was founded by Greek colonists from Sinop, 110 km east of the homonymous city founded by Pharnaces I of Pontus, using citizens transferred from Kodiora modern Ordu, circa 180 BCE. The name of the city is first cited in the book Anabasis by Xenophon as Karasus. Historic records reveal that the city was dominated by the Miletians, Persians, Romans, Byzantines and Empire of Trebizond. The older parts of the city lie on a peninsula crowned by a ruined Byzantine fortress, sheltering the small natural harbour. Nearby is Giresun Island, in ancient times called Arishas, the only major Black Sea island in Turkish territory. According to legend, the island was sacred to the Amazons, who had dedicated a temple to the war god Ares here. Even today, fertility rites are performed there every May, usually involving the famed boulder named the Hamza Stone on the east side of the island, now shrouded as a popular practice but in reality a 4,000-year-old celebration. 
Sarasus in late antiquity became a Christian bishopric, and the names of several of its bishops are preserved in the Acts of Church Councils, Gregorius at the Council of Ephesus in 431, Gratianus at the Council of Chalcedon in 451, Theophylactus at the Third Council of Constantinople in 680, Narses at the Trullan Council in 692, Ioannes at the Second Council of Nicaea in 787, and Simeon at the Photian Council of Constantinople in 879. An episcopal seal records a Leo of the 9th century, and a Michael was transferred from here to the See of Ancyra at the time of Michael Carularius. It was the seat of a Greek Orthodox metropolitan until 1703, when the city was placed under the Metropolitan of Trebizond. Accordingly, it is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. The Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople also considers Sarasus Karasu, together with Chaldea and Cheriana, as a titular metropolitanate in Turkey. During the medieval period, Karasunt was part of the Byzantine Empire and later the second city of the Empire of Trebizond ruled by the Komnenian dynasty. Alexios II Komnenos, Emperor of Trebizond, defeated the Turkmen Kostaganes". At Karasunt in September 1302, to secure his victory, Alexios II built a fortress which overlooks the sea. From 1244 onwards the Seljuk Turks moved into the area, pursued at times by the Mongol hordes until in 1461, subsequent to the fall of Constantinople, the whole of this coast was brought within the Ottoman Empire by Sultan Mehmet II. It was briefly occupied by Emirate of Hasi Emiroglu Emirate of Chalabia between 1398-1400. Local traditions claim that Karasunt held out for many months after the fall of Trebizond in 1461, then surrendered on terms that the Christian inhabitants could remain and retain their arms, but were required to maintain a boat for the use of the Turks on a nearby river. 4.2 km east northeast of Karasus is a fortified island called Ares. Arishas Nesos or Arianesos. According to the poetic account of Apollonius of Rhodes, it was here that the Argonauts encountered both the Amazons and a flock of vicious birds. The Greeks of the island held out against the Ottomans for seven years after the fall of Trebizond modern Trabzon in 1461. Economy Historically, Goresun was known for producing hazelnut. As of 1920, hazelnuts covered 460 square miles of the area. Manganese mines were also in the area, producing 470 tons as of 1901. Topic: <inaudible> Places of interest. The well-preserved Goresun Castle in the city center. Goresun Island. Hasi Hussein Mosque, Kale Mosque, Sayyid I Vakas Tomb, Mausoleum of Topal Osman. Old Ottoman houses of Zeytinlik district. Highlands Kumbit, Bektas, Kulakaya, Kakrak, Tohumlik, Kirkbeli, Kazakbeli, Ayabeli, Baytarla, Bulari, Kirkarman International relations Twin towns and brother cities Goresun is twinned with Sagay, Yamagata Prefecture, Japan, since June 25, 1988. Shaki, Azerbaijan, since March 12, 2001. Topic. References. The Byzantine Monuments and Topography of the Pontos by A. Breyer and D. Winfield. The Encyclopedia of Pontian Hellenism. Topic. External links Official website Goresun Culture and Travel Info Goresun.com. Tr in Turkish Goresun Culture and Travel Info in Turkish Kanakshi Photos Karasis Goresun.